President Yuri Museveni this afternoon took to Busia district to commission the recently completed Busia main market at a facility aimed at increasing incomes at the household level in the border district. The market that was commissioned cost 24.5 billion shillings and has high level value addition facilities for processing maize, animal and poultry feed as well as agricultural produce and was funded from a loan by the African Development Bank in partnership with the government of Uganda. The new market in Busia is expected to accommodate at least 2,400 vendors. It's going to serve 2,400 vendors and we have put up facilities which are 1,261 and these ones, Your Excellency, are market stalls, lockups and shops, peaches, cooking lockups, restaurants, fish marketing zones for both the dry and fresh fish. I want to assure the people of Busia that our market is on standard. It's better than all the markets that uh, were constructed before. I want to assure them that this, our stalls are going to be pocket friendly to our vendors. In his speech at the market, the president revealed that this is a step forward for the few market vendors, especially those living and working in Busia, and urge them to maintain hygiene. <laughs> Why commissioning the market, supporters of the NRM and President Museveni gathered outside the market to have a glance at him. And after commissioning the market, the president moved on to say hello to his supporters and waved to them before urging them to desist from gathering to prevent the spread of COVID-19. <laughs> After commissioning the market, the president then took to Madibira Primary School, where he met with leaders of Busia District during a meeting. In the meeting, the leaders of Busia spoke of what needs to be done for the area to develop. We'd like you to increase the funding for road maintenance in our district. Our roads are in a deplorable state. We'd like to ask you to expedite the Osmid project in Busia municipality. In the area of education, Your Excellency, we'd like to ask you to provide government-aided secondary schools per sub-county as per the manifesto. In his speech, Jerem Seven he spoke of the need to diagnose Uganda's problems as the government tries to shape the future for others. What was the unique contribution of the NRM to the stabilization of Uganda? Because with politics, you know people get lost. And many people spend a lot of time with PR. And just like that, the NRM party flag bearer and presidential candidate, Yori Museveni, has today concluded his campaigns in the Bukedi region. The president will have a brief youth meeting tomorrow in Toro, and then he will then start traversing Busoga region, where he will go to look for votes. For Select News, I'm Suhail Mugabe, here in Busia district.